I'm Dr. Richard Klein. I'm from the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley in the School of Earth, Environmental, and Marine Sciences. Um, I'm also the science advisor for the Friends of the RGV Reef. And uh, today we're going to witness uh, the deployment of a 96 foot uh, uh, shrimp boat that's going to be deployed on the seafloor for the sake of uh, uh, increasing fish populations in the Rio Grande Valley Reef. about six months to get this boat cleaned up. It's uh, mainly done by volunteer work. Um, uh, they've had to clean all of the oils, um, a lot of the wiring and some of the paint has to have come off the boat to actually get it ready to put on the seafloor because we can't have these items on the seafloor with the fish. So even though uh, boats are probably the first types of artificial reefs that were ever deployed, um, they are very hard to clean and very expensive to clean. Uh, they make excellent habitat for adult fish, but uh, it, it comes at quite a cost. Well, so the Rio Grande Valley Reef is very special. It's the largest artificial reef placement on the Texas coast. It's 1.2 square miles. It's got tens of thousands of tons of materials in it to date. And this will be the largest boat that's been sunk out there to date as well. About 30 feet longer than any of the other two boats that are out there. So it's going to provide some excellent habitat. Uh, what we're trying to create with this reef is actually a self-sustaining reef that actually starts and provides habitat for the very smallest fish that arrive all the way up to the adult fish that can spawn there. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a little complicated and it's, it's also going to uh, require some people, some brave people to do it. Um, what's going to happen is they're, they're towing the boat out there. There's two, two boats actually uh, towing the boat out there. Once we get there, they're going to put three inch pumps on the boat and those are actually going to pump seawater into the boat to, to fill it up to help it sink. But before it sinks, they've got to get those pumps back off the boat and actually follow it down. And then we've got divers that will go down there to retrieve the marker buoy and the buoy that's supposed to keep the boat upright as it settles on the seafloor. We've also got a very heavy anchor that's going to be deployed about 200 feet in front of it to keep it stationary so the boat doesn't get outside the reef while it's sinking. Certainly, uh, I'd like to thank EMR uh, Shipbreaking International, um, who actually donated a lot of, uh, uh, of time and space to clean up this ship. This, actually, this boat's actually going to be renamed the EMR Captain Barry as it sinks to the seafloor. Um, because of that, we've also like to thank Keith Judd, who volunteered a ton of time for cleaning up this vessel. Um, it took about six months of volunteer time to actually clean it up before it was ready to deploy on the seafloor for everybody to enjoy once it settles down there and they can actually capture fish off of it. Um, so yeah, the, uh, this project, um, this entire RGV, RGV reef project uh, encompasses tons of human hours and uh, donations to get this almost 100,000 tons of material on the seafloor to date. We'd also like to thank very much um, uh, Dale Shively from the uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife Artificial Reef Program, who actually was the one that had to get all the permits and get everything set up to actually establish their RGV reef, um, and all the donors and, uh, and other people that gave time to actually put these materials down and donate the time to actually get the materials on the boat to put them down. Um, I think this will be a, a great reef for decades to come for people because as I said we've got habitat for juvenile fish. We've placed them out um, with the best science uh, available to actually have habitat for juvenile fish, intermediate fish and adult fish there to complete their life cycles.